So what is going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today is like, it's not a weekly vlog, it is a special vlog, it's like a two day vlog and we got some great things coming up. So if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button, we're edging closer to 800,000 subscribers. And drop a like on this video as well if you do enjoy it. But today we're in sunny London, we're at a Sky Sports event for the launch of the brand new season. Guys, let me know in the comments who's gonna win the Premier League this year. You know what, I'm feeling crazy. But I think City are going to win it. And then Arsenal are going to come second with the new signings. So uh, we've got an exciting vlog. And then tomorrow, I'm playing for the hashtag Sunday League team, which is my first hashtag appearance since we went to semi-pro. I know it's for the Sunday League team and not the main team, but I'm not fit enough. So I've got to work my way back in there. But today, as I said, is a Sky Sports event. So without further ado, let's walk the right way, because I did just go the wrong way. All right, I'm here for the Take Your Seat Sky Sports Day event. Just did a little Sky Sports interview. I'll show you a little clip now. But uh, you know what, it's going well. I got a little, I got a specific schedule, so everything is bish bash bosh. It's all in order, which is how I like it. But this is the little event. I say little, it's quite a big event. And then later on, we're gonna be doing some uh, goal recreations for Pogba's penalty. And then also some top bin challenges. And I believe there's some famous faces you know here, AKA Jacko, the scariest man in football. AKA Jamel15, the tallest muscular guy on YouTube. All right, so. We've got a wild Jamel and we're doing the Sky Sports Soccer AM Volley Challenge, which is basically yeah, getting in the bin. <laughs> so, let's start. Oh, I went for a little calm one, you know. This is a test. I went for a test. Oh, God, you might get this, you know. No fear. Right, there you go. What we learnt from that is Jamel is basically Neymar and I am Bentner. Jamel, yes? would you say that was the greatest achievement of your life, completing the top bins on Grand Challenge? That was the greatest achievement of my 2018. So 2018? I've never hit a top bins in 2018, so that's my highlight of the year. Have so you ever hit a top bins in your life? Yes, I have, when I was like 14. Don't believe that yeah. one bit. All right, we've got a little 10 minutes to myself and I've decided to go for a margarita and a San Pellegrino. San Pellegrino, I don't know how you say it, all right, but normally I get an orange one, all right? But today, they didn't have orange, they had blood orange. All right, it's a little bit sweeter. You know what, usually I don't go out of my comfort zone, guys, but you know me, every now and again, I get a crazy touch to my name. And oh my God, I'm feeling crazy to try one of these today. Okay, here we go, ready? Tottenham fans, Arsenal fans. It tastes more like a lollipop. What are you doing? Huh? No, I'm just. I mean, He's got I, very like, close I, to I like face invading there. his private, private space. All right, Jamel. Right, We're within feet of the Premier League trophy. Who's going to Who's going to win the season? Who's going to win the season? You know the Premier League season. Man United. Let's do this actually in front of here. Ready? Let me Let me ask you that question again. Who's going to win the Premier League this year? Man United. I actually think United are going to win. You are as deluded as you look. Who finished second last year? Definitely. If we can stop City. You can't. If we can stop City, anything is possible. You won't be able to stop City. No, so you, you there's only City. one man, one team, and one monumental beast that can stop City. Wenger's not there anymore, do you? Emery. Oh. All right. Guy, it's the battle of the century you're about to watch. I'm here with Dexter. Do you reckon you can beat me, though? That's the question. Are you getting a little bit nervous? Nervous to face me, nervous to lose. All right, I'm about to give him a lesson in how to play FIFA. He's gone and done it. He's taken a 1-0 lead. He said he was going to trump me, and in his defense, he's crossed it in. So you know when I said I was going to give him a, a schooling? He's beating me 1-0, FIFA 19. It's still time for me to come back and win this. What's the score, Dexter? 2-0. 2-0. Nine-year-old is beating me. Comeback is on, boys. 
It's a 2-1, one of the greatest goals you're ever going to see on FIFA, especially FIFA 19. You might lose this one, Dexter, you might lose it. You, by the way, also, I just saved a penalty, so the comeback is majorly on. What I do, Dexter? Where's it? Yeah, but that is 2 all. I think the pressure got to you, mate. I think the pressure got to you. It's a missed penalty and you've conceded two. How are you going to deal with it now? Badly. Dexter, this could be the biggest moment of your life here. Winning a game of FIFA. <laughs> FIFA 19. This is probably the first FIFA 19 penalty shooting up. There is. And this is make or break for us, guys. If I lose this, it's an embarrassment. If Dexter wins this, or no, if you lose this, <laughs> well, you mean there's no coming back from this. <laughs> you were tuning up. Kinda. You were tuning up. I do feel bad that I, I, lo I beat you. I won 3 0 in the finish shootout, guys. But Dexter, it's been a valiant effort. What do you think of FIFA 19? Good, yeah? He's traumatised. We're now back at the pitch doing a 1v1 against Football Daily. It's the top ends penalty challenge. Now, I lost to Jamel doing the volleys. Can I redeem myself and win the penalties? That is the one question that needs answering. We've got some help. All right, Nike just gave me these, not to keep, unfortunately, but to wear for this. These are new phantoms. Like, tell me these aren't godly. And they are, they are nice. They're getting up to date. It's about time Nike bought some laces and boots out. They're like the X's from Adidas. They're keeping up the times with Adidas, so respect. Let's see if this helps me win the game. I'm going fast. Right. Going right It the post four times and it went in once. That is the performance I wanted. I was saving it, you know, I was just teasing Jamel, teasing him, making me look rubbish, and then I step up. When it comes to penalties, you know the end of the game, penalty king. And that is a Sky Sports Take Your Seat event done and dusted. Mate, that was actually so much fun. I managed to get it top bins! Yes! I mean, four posts and a top bin, I'll take that every day of the week. Call me the penalty king. Go on, I see you commenting it. Go on, go on, I can see it. Look, type it, type it, CO is the undefeated champion of Penalty King. I want to see that commented, something like that. But uh, yes, I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. But guys, staying in London, heading over to a family party, and then this evening, off to Basildon in Essex to uh, stay at a hotel for the hashtag Sunday League game tomorrow. So, let's crack on. All right, I'm out of traffic lights, yeah? Buckingham Palace! I haven't driven down this road in years. I'm telling you, years. You know, I don't live in London. I'm at, this is actually making me quite excited to live in London, you know? Like, I feel like a right little tourist, like, Going through, Char uh, going through Trafalgar Square, now I'm at Buckingham Palace. I'm a tourist in my own country, guys. Madness. One family party later, and I tell you what, since arriving to this hotel in Basildon, Essex, it has come down to me like a weight of bricks. I'm talking to the camera. Janine's with me, by the way, she's just in the shower. But no, I don't want to talk to you, I want to talk to the camera. These guys are listening to me. No, I'm talking... Okay, anyways guys, what I was saying was I'm, I'm, I'm shattered, I'm absolutely shattered. It's been a long day today, it's been a fun but a long day. I need to get some shot eye, I'm all, I, I don't know if you can tell, but right now, 
my eyes are falling asleep but my eyelids are staying awake. Do you ever get that weird feeling when like you're dozing off but your eyes, I don't know, you don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Basically, I need to sleep in that single twin bed. Good night. All right, so it's the morning of Sunday League action and uh, I haven't really explained why I'm playing it. Basically, AKA, not fit enough. I'm not fit enough and I've missed the entirety of pre-season. So rightly so, I can't just walk straight back into the first team. That's not how football works. So I've got to work my way. I've got to get my fitness up, doing running at home. Uh, I did my first 5K this week. Did it in ha under half an hour, but ideally I want to aim for under 25 minutes. I want to be uh, a 5K pace or below. So that's my target for my 5K runs. But uh, excited to play Sunday League today. Haven't played Sunday League in a long, long time. Probably a couple of years now. Uh, no, no. I'll say a year and a half since I last played for... No, oh, well, probably been a couple of years since Sunday League. So I'm excited. I'm playing on 3G with the hashtag boys. So I want to get my fitness up. And that means obviously getting as much game time in as possible. So uh, I'm excited. Let's play some Sunday League. Thank you, squad. I don't get injured. And maybe bag a couple of goals. Lucky boys. Go. Go, Zach. Good cross, Charlie. Quality, Zach. Go. Go. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Matt. Turn left. 
Where's you got Marius with you? Get high, Marius. Come left, left. Two with you, make it count. Marius is there, get one away. Like it. So that was the first Sunday League match I played Hashtag United and I got to admit I really really enjoyed it. My first 90 minutes I came off at like the 89th minute but I'm calling it 90th minute because it, I reckon we're in I reckon we're in some stoppage time there but Played the full game, loved it. I felt fitter, you know, since the first training session I did before I went away on holiday, where I was like almost throwing up, I felt a lot fitter, and that's obviously down to the runs I've been doing. Uh, throughout this week, it's a few days after the match now, uh, it took me about two or three days to recover. In that time, I went to proper first team hashtag training, which was my first session, and I felt, again, I felt fitter. Obviously, I'm not there, I'm not 100%. I reckon I'm about 50%, but I'm feeling fitter. Well, 50% to where I want to be. I want to be like elite fitness. But uh, I'm getting there. I've been running every single day. I'm literally just about to go for a run. That's why I've got my white top on and my, and my cap. But we are getting back into the football. Now, guys, if you've enjoyed this Sunday League video and obviously the Sky Sports event beforehand, drop a like on this video. If you've stayed tuned until the end, what I want you to comment down below is water bottle to let me know that you have uh, made it this far in the video we used to do it all the time in the weekly vlog so i thought a double day vlog deserves it but yes guys as i said if you enjoyed the video try to drop a like subscribe if you haven't already comment water bottle to let me know you've made it this far boys and girls see you another video very soon